Happy Monday to all of our followers. Thanks everyone for subscribing and watching our videos. Today's workout in class is gonna center around the squat clean thruster, also called a cluster uh, in our programming. Carly's gonna start by demonstrating two cluster reps. The cluster is a squat clean from the floor directly into a thruster. All the points of emphasis of a squat clean are present in the cluster. So when we set up, our hands are uh, just outside of our thighs. We wanna get the chest up, hips down, knees forward in our setup. From here, we're gonna slowly push the knees back as we lift the bar off the ground, make contact at the mid to upper thigh, catch as you descend into the squat. When we catch the squat clean thruster, it's normal to keep the elbows a little bit lower than you would in just a squat clean because we need to be ready to press overhead. So I usually like to uh, think about catching with elbows about 45 degrees um, rather than straight forward. Then as you're standing up, it's really important as you extend to be really aggressive with the hip opening. If you're not aggressive with the hip opening, you won't have enough momentum to press out the heavier loads overhead. So make sure you're being aggressive with the hips as you stand up before you start pressing. Monday's workout is granola bar. As many rounds as possible in 12 minutes. Seven bar muscle ups. Followed by seven lateral burpees over the bar. followed by seven squat clean thrusters at 135 for men, 95 for women. Followed by another seven lateral burpees over the bar. Scale the weights and movements so you can complete around three full rounds on this workout. Monday's home gym variation will be 12 minutes, as many rounds as possible, of seven double dumbbell squat clean thrusters. You can go from between the legs or outside the legs, whichever one you feel more efficient with. Looking to stand tall, get the dumbbells to the shoulders, pass through a full squat directly into that thruster rep. After your seven double dumbbell squat clean thrusters, you'll do 14 lateral burpees over the, over the dumbbells. There's no requirement to stand tall and open the hips or to clap overhead. So try to stay low, close to the floor. That way you have less range of motion to move over the dumbbells. 12 minutes, as many rounds as possible. Monday's accessory work will be three giant sets with two minutes rest in between. Nine double dumbbell single leg deadlifts on each leg. You'll balance on one foot. You're gonna touch one head of the dumbbell slightly in front of your foot. As you lower your chest to the floor, you're going to push the free leg back behind you to help balance. It's going to help our balance as well as uh, core strength during the deadlift. You'll do nine reps on each leg. Then you'll switch to 15 double dumbbell stiff leg sumo deadlifts. You'll set up in a double shoulder width stance. You're going to keep your knees locked out or close to locked out. You're gonna focus on pushing the hips and knees back as you lower one head of the dumbbell to the floor. Slow and controlled. Finally, you'll perform 21 weighted glute bridges. Use a dumbbell or sandbag, lay that on top of your waist. Drive the heels into the floor as you push the hips straight off the ground. 21 reps, weighted glute bridges. Monday's recommended mobility is going to be one minute per side front rack stretch. Hang a band from a pull-up bar, place your elbow through the band, and then lean forward, stretching out the lats and shoulders. You'll do one minute per side. Then move to a light plate. Then you'll perform a one minute squat bottom hold with a plate to counterbalance. You're going to Stay on the heels, hips below parallel, pressing that plate out in front of you. Make sure it's light enough so you can maintain this position for a full minute. Have fun with your training this Monday, guys.